boy down here. Mickey always comes in when I'm getting ready, doing my makeup and hair, and scrunches up the bath mat, fluffs it up, so he can lay here next to me <laughs> while I'm in the bathroom getting ready. Yes, getting my curls in. I don't know if I can, yeah, see? Getting my curls in, got this part of my head done. This part of my head still to do, so I gotta get, boy, this really doesn't work, showing, showing myself in the mirror, yes, yeah, so. Gotta get the rest of my hair curled, and then I gotta head out the door. <laughs> He's so funny. All right, guys, got my curls done. I think they look all right. Yes, I was a teenager in the 80s. I graduated in 1989, so I'm not one for flat hair, <laughs> for straight hair. I gotta have some curl and body in my hair, and my hair's thin, so um, I don't have much, so I have to curl it and tease it a little. So, Miggy's still here next to me while I did all that. Grant, he uh, must have heard me cleaning up. He popped his head out to see if they're going to get a cookie. It's about that time. About 15 minutes, I'll give them their dental bone. Uh, and then I've just got to clean up in here a little and head out and do some errands. You want your dental bone, Grant? You want your dental bone? I saw, I thought I saw you wagging your tail a little. Maybe not, maybe not. Let's go see what all the other boys are doing. Max is still on my bed. That's not made yet. Let's see, oh, here's some boys out here. There's Milo. Hi Milo, you taking a nap? Huh, taking a nap? There's Marley on top of the couch and Mozzie on the seat. Gotta brush your faces still before I head out. There's Max, he came off the bed. Let's see. And here's, here's Kitten over here in his favorite spot. Yes, and here's Magnum. Magnum's watching for squirrels, aren't ya? Yes, you're keeping an eye out for us. Yes, you are. <laughs> I don't know where Merlin is. Where's Merlin at, boys? Let's go see if we can find him. He might be upstairs on my son's old bed. Let's see. Sometimes he sleeps on the chairs out here by the island. Nope, he must be upstairs. Must be upstairs snoozing. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. I got Max's uh, medication. Let me get it out of the fridge. It's got to be refrigerated. Started giving it to him today. I was going to show you guys what it is. Yes, let me see if I can make sure my address and phone number aren't on here. Okay, I think I'm safe. Okay, here we go. This is what it's called. Excuse my nails that need to be done. <laughs> Interferon. And he's got to take a 0 0.5035 milliliters. So started giving that to him this morning. Uh, hopefully that'll help his uh, um, little, I call them warts. Hopefully that'll help what's going on with him. Um, that's a three month supply in the fridge there. Cost, with shipping, I think it was like $162, I think it was. And so, yes, yeah, so that's what he's taking for that. And he started it this morning. Okay, I'm gonna give him their dental bones and um, clean up the house a little, brush their faces, and I gotta head out the door. Well, I'm driving home from my errands I had to run. I've got about a 15, 20 minute drive home. I drove into another uh, town, Owasso, Owasso, Michigan. Um, so I'm on this little back, I call it a back country road. <laughs> I don't know really if it's considered that. It's quite busy still. It's a two lane road, so I thought it's just a straight shot. Um, I thought I'd get on and um, answer the question. Someone answered what, or not answered, they asked, um, what do I think is gonna happen if I didn't crate my boys when I'm gone running 
around doing things. So basically, why do I put them in crates um, when I'm out and about? Well, uh, for one, I have seven dogs. Um, that would probably be just a great answer right there. <laughs> I have seven dogs. And who knows what type of mischief seven dogs can get into. Now, you know that my house is pretty clutter free, so they really wouldn't be able to like um, tear up anything laying around. Um, but occasionally there's things left out and about. Um, I've seen some people whose dogs have actually opened up the cupboards in their kitchen and gotten into food. I don't think my dogs would do that. They've never tried to do that. They don't get into the trash can, but that's usually when I'm home. Um, so I don't know what they would do when I'm gone. Um, they would probably just lay on the couch, probably in sleep or in their dog beds, but I don't know. So that's why I put them in crates. And also, God forbid, what if our house caught on fire? Um, someone called me and said, Kim, your house is on fire. I could say, oh my God, the dogs are in their crate. There are seven dogs in their crates in the back bedroom. And while I wouldn't expect a fireman or firewoman to risk their life saving my dogs, if there was a chance they could, I could tell them right where to find the dogs. Now the kitties is a whole nother story. Um, I'm not gonna crate up the cats when I'm gone, but or say in the middle of the night when we're sleeping, because I crate my dogs when we sleep. They're in our bedroom. If you've been watching my channel, you know that their crates are all in our bedroom. If God forbid the smoke, smoke alarm started going off, I could grab each dog and get them out the bedroom window and into the backyard where it's fenced in and I know they'd be safe back there. Um, they wouldn't run away. So um, I just do it out of safety reasons, just to make sure they're okay. Um, like I've been gone, it's three o'clock, I left the house a little after one, so I've been gone, it'll be about two hours. I know that they're just in there snoozing taking a little nap and they're all safe and sound so um I really don't know exactly what they would probably do if I um <laughs> let them be out for two hours without me there I just know it gives me peace of mind to know that I know where they're at and I know they're just sleeping while they're in there because <laughs> they all went out twice before I left twice within 20 minutes um and did their business so um I know they're safe so um, just to answer that question they basically wanted to know what did I think would happen if I didn't create them uh, when I was gone and just to let you know too a lot of people think seem to think that I keep my boys in crates for long periods of time I am a stay-at-home mom stay-at-home homemaker um, I'm home 99% of the time I don't have the biggest social life <laughs> um I'm home most of the time unless I've got to run out and run to a couple stores like I did today um today I'm I'm been gone a little longer than usual I'm usually gone an hour um and then usually if I run off later on at night to do anything either my daughter's usually home or my husband so my boys are barely ever in their crates so I don't know where people think that my boys are kept in crates all the time. <laughs> They're not. Now, if we had to go, say we had to go to a wedding or we had to go somewhere, I don't know, further away and we're going to be gone more than three, four hours. Um, if my daughter's home, she watches them or um, my mother-in-law is just around the corner. She can come and let the boys out. She can play, sit and play with them. Uh, for a while to get them out of their crates. We do not let them be cooped up in their crates more than four hours. Um, and so just know that my boys are not kept in crates all day long. I just want to make that so clear for those who watch because I get that question a lot <laughs> about the crate situation. So my boys are barely ever in their crates. Um, my boys love their crates. I leave their doors open all day long. And like you know, Grant goes in there and sleeps. That's where he takes most of his naps. He has been hanging out with the family more though. I have to say, he actually got in a dog bed the other day. He's never slept in one of the dog beds before. And my husband, we were sitting on the front room um, 
watching TV and he said, look who's in the dog bed over there in front of the TV. And I said, who? Because I, cu I couldn't tell because of the way the lighting was. He goes, it's Grant. And I said, oh my God, I can't believe it. I've never seen him sleep in one of the dog beds. <laughs> so he's been not hanging in his crate as much, but I'll catch each of them in there randomly sometimes sleeping in their dog beds when I can't, or dog crates. So um, anyway, so I thought I'd just answer that question while I'm driving home. I do have to hit one more store though. I just remembered as I was talking, I got to hit one more store. So, all right guys, we'll be back in a minute. Gotta go find Grant. Oh my goodness. Where's Grant? Come on, Grant. Let's go outside. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. Come on, Grant. We gotta go outside. You need to go potty. I gotta go behind him. Come on. Let's go outside. Sometimes you gotta make him go outside. Come on. Let's go. You know you gotta go pee pee. Yes, you know you gotta go pee pee. Yes. Yes. Oh, you need more pets. You're so excited. You're so happy. Oh, yes. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Yes. You're so happy I'm home. Okay, hold on. <laughs> What's that noise, Magnum? What? You're so happy I'm home, Magnum. Look how, look how light he's getting. See all that, that light color in him? Remember when he was when he was little and I asked you guys, I said I seen little white hairs in him? Yep. He's got a lot of white hairs now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Max, you're just a little noise. You're, Max, Max, come here. You're going to fall off the porch. <laughs> Max is a little noise maker. Max, you better come here. You better come here. You better come here. You better come here. All right, you guys need to go potty. You gotta go potty. All right, everybody was good boys. Everybody did their business. Yes, you did. So let's go get a green bean snack. I got a big bag of green beans here. You want a green bean? All right, let's go in the other room. Let's go in the other room. <laughs> These, dogs are... These boys are wild today. Even Grant's wild. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I gotta open the bag. I had to put them. I got them when I was out shopping today. And I went to open them and I ripped the whole container they were in. So I had to put them in a storage bag. 
You guys, you guys are happy for a green bean? Hmm. Okay. Here's a green bean. There's a green bean. Look at Magnum's already back. <laughs> Magnum, Milo, you guys are already back for another one. Mozzie too. I didn't even get everybody's passed out. You want a green bean? Grant likes green beans too. He just likes to take his to his bed and eat it. <laughs> All right, you can have one more green bean. Got to make them last. There you go. Um, some people asked before in videos of me giving out the boys green beans. Um, what kind I get them? I just get the bag of um, fresh green beans that are in the produce section. Just get a huge bag of them. Okay, I'll give you one more. Okay. Okay. I'll give you one more. Green beans are good for you. Yes. <laughs> Green beans are good for schnauzers. Yes. Oh, Grant's back too. There you go. Let's give Grant another. He gets another one too after. There you go, Grant. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I think it's funny he takes it to his crate and eats his green bean. Grant gets one more because you guys had three. He's only had two so far. Yes. We got to make these last. We got to make these green beans last for a little while, boys. Yes. All right. I'm going to... I got to get Merlin a treat. He's jealous. I got to get Merlin a treat out of the drawer here. I'm trying to close the bag with one hand. Oh, here's Grant. Grant, here's your last green bean, Grant. No, Miggy. There you go. There's your last green bean. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to get going. Um, I've got to get some more. i got all my stuff that needed to go in the freezer and refrigerator away. But now I've got to put the rest of the stuff away. <laughs> Milo. Milo is always on my lap kissing my face. Always. Always giving me schnauzer kisses. Always. Thank you, Milo. Thank you. Okay. Get down. <laughs> He's like, Mom, please, another green bean. You said they're good for us. Give us one more. <laughs> All right, I'm going to, I got to put the rest of my stuff away. I feel a headache coming on. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been having horrible sinus headaches. Yesterday I had like a lingering uh, headache all day. Um, and I thought I was good today, but obviously not. I feel one coming on again, so... I'm going to take some get down Milo. He keeps trying to get up here because I got the bag sitting. Look at <laughs> I put him down. He jumps right back up. I don't even know why I put him down. No. Yeah. So I'm going to get the rest of my stuff put away. I don't have to cook dinner today because I have leftovers. Thank goodness. So um, I'm going to take some aspirin and just kind of enjoy the rest of the day. Yes. So I hope everybody had a great Friday. Um, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Hope you got something exciting going on. Fun. I don't know. Here there's still a lot of things closed. Not much really to do. You can go to the movies, but you can't have concessions. Uh, <laughs> and you can't sneak them in. You can't because you got to have your mask on the entire time if you want to watch a movie. There's no movies out anyways worth watching. Yeah, I think I think restaurants are opening back up. Monday, um, 25% capacity. I don't know how that's going to help any restaurant business, but, um, yeah, so really not much going on around here to do. My husband and I last weekend kind of went for a drive, looked at properties and houses that we wish we could afford. <laughs> yeah, that was our fun last weekend kind of nice it's kind of nice when your husband's a realtor so you can kind of browse at houses browse houses that you wish you could have you know <laughs> you want me to throw it let go let go and i'll throw it oh no milo get it miggy <laughs> yeah so i don't know what we're gonna do this weekend um probably not much not much so all right guys i'll see you guys again next week bye Ha <laughs> ha